All right, so Google Maps has now been available for 15 years, and today's the anniversary, so um, Google did push out an update. So looking at it right here, this is Google Maps. So they have updated some of the information. You can click on search now. For instance, I'm searching for coffee. If I'm traveling this area, it's nice because it gives you a lot of options for somebody that's out of town. Uh, let's say I want a coffee. I can click show list. It gives me a lot of information regarding what's in that area. And as we kind of go, if I select one of the items, it pops up on the bottom and then I can scroll through this way. Let's say this one has 558 reviews, 4.3 stars, looks good, um, decently inexpensive, and I get the time. So I click on menu and I can see what their menu is. So that's pretty cool and neat having that option just because sometimes when you're out of town, you don't know exactly where to go. So being able to see these things makes it much easier. Also, if we, let's say, search more in this area, we're going to drop that list down. Kind of see exactly what's going on. So let's say we search again in this area. And let's say we take coffee out. So we are in this piece, Yorkville. And if we scroll up, we can see the upcoming events. So we have Ducks versus Maple Leafs. We have Bloor Yorkville Ice Fest and Tor Toronto Light Fest. So we see exactly what's going on, makes it much easier. You can label things, you can save it, um, you can even share it. So you have a lot of options. When we click on this, we can see the satellite view, we can see the terrain, um, transit, traffic, and biking routes. So overall, a lot of different options um, for expanding. And we can also get a virtual view of the location. So in this particular instance, I think they have done a lot of updates and pretty cool features. Uh, stay tuned as we kind of dig further in and we test out and um, see how, if it's more reliable than previously has been. Uh, but Google Maps has always done a really, really good job.